Hi everyone, welcome to chapter 10, lesson six, multiplying fractions. Students will be able to multiply fractions. So in our previous video and lesson, we looked at how to multiply fractions by whole numbers. Now we're going to take a look at how to multiply a fraction by another fraction. And it's very, very, very similar. So let's start off with a less complicated example. So in our first example, we are going to take the fraction 5 6 and multiply it by 1 half. So this is like taking half of 5 6 or 5 6 of 1 half. So the rule is very similar to what we did last time. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and then we multiply the denominators and make sure everything's in simplest form. So for this example, I'm going to take 5 times 1, my two numerators, and multiply that and get a numerator of 5. And then I'm going to multiply my denominators, 6 times 2, that equals 12, and that is my new denominator. 5 twelfths is in simplest form because the GCF of 5 and 12 is 1. And that's it. That's how we multiply fractions. Now, like I said, this is going to be a very uncomplicated problem. I can make them a little more complicated, but that's the gist of it. Multiply your numerators, multiply your denominators, make sure everything is simplified. All right, let's take a look at another example. So for this example, we are going to take 2 ninths times 1 tenth. And I'm going to show you how to do this problem two different ways. The first way is going to just multiply and then simplify your answer. The second way is using um, a little trick where you, where you simplify the problem and then you get your answer. So let's just do what we did before. Let's multiply our numerators. 2 times 1 is 2. And now I multiply my denominators. 9 times 10 is 90. Now I can simplify that fraction. Both 2 and 90 are even. That means that they are divisible by 2. So if I simplify this, I can divide 2 and 90 both by 2, because 2 is the GCF of 2 and 90. 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and 90 divided by 2 equals 45. So I get 1 45th. Not too bad, okay? The simplifying isn't too crazy. The multiplication wasn't too crazy. But I do want to show you a way to figure this out um, where you simplify the problem. So I'm going to keep that up there just to show you the comparison. Here's that same problem. 2 ninths times 1 tenth. Now I showed you this in the previous video. You can always check your diagonal numbers, okay, your diagonals like an X or a slash, to see if you can simplify the problem. If I check this diagonal with 1 and 9, I have a 1, and because there's a 1 there, I know I can't simplify it. Check your other diagonal. I have 2 and 10. Ah, 2 and 10 can get simplified because 2 and 10 are both divisible by 2. So let's divide both 2 and 10 by 2, and then we will change those numbers within the fraction. All right, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I can make this a 1. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So I can make this denominator a 5. Now you might think, well, she changed the problem. We can't get the same answer. I did change the problem, but it's, it still has the same value. I changed the look of the problem. I simplified the problem so that I might not have to simplify the answer. So let's multiply. Going across, 1 times 1 equals 1, and 9 times 5 equals 45. Oh, that is the same product we got without doing that method. So you can see we got the same 
products, 145th. It's all about what's better for you, okay? If you would prefer to just multiply and then look at your answer and simplify it, that's fine. Or if you prefer to check to see if you can sim simplify the problem, then that's fine. Why might you want to do that second option where you simplify the problem? Well, you might get numbers in your fraction that are kind of large and you, you might not want to spend the time to multiply them and then you might have to do some long division to simplify it. So that's where it can help. I'm gonna show you another example where you can use that method. Five six times three fifteenths. Now again, for sure you could go five times three and six times 15. All right, and we can definitely do that. So let's let's check it out. Five times three. Five times three equals 15. Six times 15, you may not know that. So of course you can do the math. 15 times six. Five times six is 30. Six plus three is nine. So I get 15 90ths. Okay, so you can see a little bit of extra work there we had to do on the side. And now when we go to look at our answer, we know we can simplify it. They're both divisible um, by 5. They're also both divisible by 15. Okay, if we divide them by 5, we will have to simplify it at least once. So let's divide them by 15. And I know this because I know it's the GCF. So if I divide this by 15, and if I divide that by 15, 15 divided by 15 is 1, and 90 divided by 15 equals 6. So I get 1 6. All right, so I'm going to work that same problem now, but I'm going to simplify the problem. I want to try and make the numbers in my fractions smaller so that I don't have to do any of those, um, any of that long multiplication or division. Same problem. Check your diagonals. Let's see. I have 5 and 15 in this diagonal. 5 and 15 are both divisible by 5. They're both in my 5 times tables. Actually, they look like threes just because that marker is too big. So let me get that out of there so that, oh my goodness, that's ugly. So that we can clearly see what we're dividing by. There, that's better. All right, so five and 15 are both divisible by five. So I can change that five up here and that 15, that diagonal. All right, five divided by five is one. And 15 divided by 5 is 3. All right, well, that's a lot better. Wait a minute, can I do anything with my other diagonal? Let's check this diagonal. I have 3 and 6. Well, they're both in my 3 times tables. I can divide them both by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Wow, I made this problem a whole lot simpler. I have 1 half times 1 third. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 3 equals 6. I get the same product as I did when I solved it the other way. So it's really about picking which works for you, okay? You can do all of that multiplying in the beginning and then just simplify your answer. But be careful, you might run into some problems where you have to work out the multiplication and do the long division. Or you could try and simplify the problem. Okay, but that means you have to know how to simplify. Once you simplify your problem by checking the diagonals, then you just multiply it out and your answer is more likely to be in simplest form. All right, I hope you found this helpful. I will see you for our next video. Bye.